So today I want to talk about how to get more restorative sleep. Not just more sleep, but the type of sleep that recharges you uh, by adding vitamin D. Um, so many people wake up tired, okay? They're actually sometimes more tired than when they went to bed. They don't sleep through the night. They either can't get to sleep, they can't stay asleep, or they wake up feeling tired. They have dark circles underneath their eyes, puffy eyes, bloodshot eyes, or they might have sleep apnea. Or during the day, they need multiple naps because they haven't slept at night. So we do know that stress can prevent you from sleeping, but vitamin D many times is behind high levels of cortisol. High cortisol can deplete your vitamin D, and low vitamin D can raise your cortisol. So, and cortisol is the stress hormone. Now you have vitamin D receptors in many places in the body, including the central nervous system. So deep in your brain, you have receptors for vitamin D. And one of the functions of vitamin D, among the many, is muscle paralysis during the delta wave sleep. So when we're talking about restorative sleep, we're talking about the ability to turn off when you're sleeping at night, okay? So you're not like laying there half awake. Um, so vitamin D helps to turn off the muscles. So if you have restless leg syndrome, for example, that would be a vitamin D deficiency. And sometimes it's a vitamin B1 deficiency, but when you take vitamin D, it allows your body to get in a full resting, deep delta wave sleep, and that's how you recharge. Now, the amount of vitamin D that people are told to take, um, the RDAs are roughly between 600 to I think 800 IUs, okay? That is the amount determined to prevent rickets, but it's definitely not the amount to create the therapeutic effect for many other conditions, like especially if you have autoimmune conditions like MS or rheumatoid arthritis or lupus or getting your deep sleep or getting rid of uh, low back pain, uh, you're gonna need more of a therapeutic effect. Minimally at 20,000 IUs. Now, it might sound like a lot, 20,000 IUs, but 40,000 IUs is only one milligram. So 20,000 IUs is really only a half of a milligram. Okay, so there's two main concerns I wanna talk about. One is um, um, a concern that people have with, I don't wanna have a toxic effect of vitamin D. I have a specific video just on that you can watch down below. All the toxic effects of vitamin D really come from the higher levels of calcium in the blood. It doesn't have to do with vitamin D itself, it has to do with what it does to calcium. And there's so many things you can do to prevent the high levels of calcium building up in the blood that I made a special video for that. But many times you're gonna need a lot more vitamin D to fix your sleep cycles. Now, one of the reasons it's very difficult to get your vitamin D from food. The next reason is that people are inside and they're not getting enough sunlight. And there's one more reason I wanna talk about, and it has to do with the vitamin D receptors being altered genetically. But a mutation is a sudden change in the genetics that can happen this lifetime. So let's say you're exposed to a certain chemical, uh, it can affect the genes. There are several mutations in the vitamin D receptor, and it's called polymorphism. So your vitamin D receptor is having a hard time absorbing vitamin D. So if you take the normal amounts of vitamin D, it doesn't go in. So you just have to take more. Now, the question is, why are we developing these alterations in the, in the receptor? I have some theories. Uh, we don't know exactly, but vitamin D deficiency trends have been following the introduction of GMO foods, the introduction of glyphosate. That is my theory on why this is happening because of what this chemical can do to our receptors, but there could be other reasons. All right, so here's what I recommend if you have a sleep problem. Start with 20,000 IUs. If that doesn't handle it, go up to 30,000 IUs. Take vitamin K2, take some magnesium, and also watch the video down below on how to overcome um, any toxic effects that vitamin D might have when you're increasing the amounts. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hey, before you go, would you mind putting a comment down below to tell me what you think about this video?